All right guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. What's the difference between ham radio and CB radio? A question that occasionally gets asked by people considering buying a radio is what's the difference between ham radio and CB radio? Whilst on the surface there would appear to be little difference in that both are means for two people to receive and transmit messages over the airwaves, there are a number of distinct differences both in terms of radio hardware and the ranges achievable by the different types of radio, as well as how they can be used. A subset of the same conversation is more to do with the types of people that use either CB radio or ham radio, and as part of this, the quality of communications that are achievable. To begin with, a radio enthusiast must pass specific radio exams in order to legally use ham radio equipment and as part of this must demonstrate a good understanding of specific radio theory and understand the appropriate ways to communicate on the allowed frequencies. After passing further examinations, more frequencies are permitted to be used and additional power is allowed to be transmitted, which again facilitates a far greater range than with cheaper, lower-powered radios. Ham radio also offers access to other modes which until 2016 were not legally permitted on the 27 MHz band, as well as the ability to use a Morse code key and even digital transmissions by hooking up a PC to your trusty old radio. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. So if ham radio offers all of this to the radio enthusiast, where does CB radio fit into all of this? Firstly, CB radio does not require a license. When CB radio was first popular, you needed a license to operate a radio both in the USA, where AM was the designated mode, and in the UK, where FM was made legal to use but neither have been enforced in more recent years. So ultimately, anyone can use a CB radio without a license or demonstration of proficiency, which some would say leads to a lot of the issues with how CB radio generally gets used or misused when compared to ham radio. When comparing CB radio to ham radio, it is worth outlining that CB radio is limited to just the 40 frequencies legally permitted, although this has since been revised to include the 40 SEPT channels, which includes other European countries, so the CB radios you purchase these days are dual mode and therefore cover 80 different frequencies. Since 2016, the addition of SSB radios and the legal use of the AM mode has been permitted, and this is where a lot of the old hand CBers now spend most of their time. Multi-mode CB radios, which include SSB, are slightly more expensive than a dual-mode radio and certainly significantly more than second-hand 80s CB radios from eBay, which is where a lot of the Muppets get their kit. The key limitation between CB radio and ham radio is also about the power, since CB radios are legally only allowed to transmit at 4 watts and 12 watts for SSB, where ham radio hobbyists are legally able to operate with significantly larger amounts of power, particularly with the higher operating qualifications. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, and as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now.